So let's go back up into that saved query, view and manage query. And I'll go ahead and open this one up, the one we just created, assets at location BR. And I'm going to uncheck this because I don't want that to be the default every time I come in. I want it to be uh, just uh, let me query what I want and don't show me that list of 14. So I'm just going to say OK there. So now when I go home and I go back to assets, now you can see I don't, it doesn't pull up that list of 14 and I can just simply do another query here. So the way this system is set up is I've got maybe uh, about eight fields here that I can search from on this screen alone. But if I hit advanced search, what that does is open up a lot more fields. So for example, if I wanted everything that had the word, every asset that had the word pump in it, <clears throat> that was made by the vendor. I got it from Ingasar Ran. I went and f did a find. It would pull those up. So I can do not only a search here on this line, but by doing advanced search, I can search for many, many more fields. And if something that you, oh, you want to search on and it's uh, not available on this advanced search, but you know it's in the database, it can easily be put here so that you can... Uh, uh, use it as part of your query. Okay, and I mean really it can, let's just do one more example of this. So let's take this pump out and let's take this in, this out and maybe I want to find, <clears throat> we don't want to filter on site, we want to look at across all sites and maybe I want all active equipment because assets can have different statuses. They can be decommissioned, they can be inactive, they can be missing, uh, they can be um, in an operating condition, and maybe one of them is we, we've used is just active. So I so show me all of them that are active. So I've got ten that are in an active state, right here. Okay. And then I can do a saved query, and uh, uh, the same thing applies. Works the same in work orders. So if I go to work orders. And maybe I wanted to find all work orders that had a status of waiting on approval. Maybe I'm a supervisor for the Bedford site and I want to uh, approve work orders that haven't been approved yet. So I'd come out here, I'd find the one that was waiting on approval, I'd check it, hit return, and that says there's 268 that are waiting approval. And again, if I wanted to go save that query, I could save it and it works exactly the same way with work orders as it did with assets, as it does with every application in Maximo. Now, one of the nice features that has come out in uh, Maximo recently is this hover dialog. So anytime you see this little I, uh, which means information, um, you can hover over it, and it will give you a peek behind to show you in this case, the asset. So I'm on a work order number 1043, and I hover over this asset number right here, this 52300, and it will show me uh, a look without having to go into the asset, and I can just hover over it and look. Now that works uh, not only on this list screen, but when I go into Maximo, and I can have those uh, little hover dialogues here as well. So again, when you hover over it, it allows you to peek and take a look. When you, when you uh, go off the screen, then it will disappear.